Hello. I wasn't planning to do any videoing today. As you can see, I am not dressed for the occasion, but I never am. I'm planning to make a sausage soup kind of based on the Sicilian sausage soup recipe that I got on Simply Homemade in New England, a Facebook cooking group. But I only have chorizo sausage, and so I'm going to do other stuff. And I said, oh, I'm going to add some white beans. And guess what? I don't have any cooked ones. But I had a half a pound of cannellini beans from Bear's Best, grown in New Hampshire or Maine. I forget. Sorry. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, a way to do it really quickly is preheat your oven to 350. And I'm only doing a half a pound of beans, so I've rinsed them. So all I'm going to do is throw them in this, oh, half a pound, I better, sorry, wrong, wrong size container. <laughs> Excuse me. For a half pound of beans, put them in like one of these size pans, two cups of water. So you want to cover by an inch or so. Um, let's see, and a teaspoon of so a half a teaspoon, I can't find my, I can't find anything. I told you I wasn't planning to do this. <laughs> well then, I guess we'll just have to, I don't know where my canister is, but this will work. So, I'm going a half teaspoon, so we'll do two quarters of salt. Stir it up a little bit. Cover. And when my oven is up to temperature, I'm going to throw it in for, I'm going to check it after about 45 minutes, make sure there's still plenty of water. Oh, I think my camera slipped. Let me see. What did I do? Oh, whatever. You can still see me. Uh, anyway, check in 45 minutes. Within an hour and a half, these beans should be cooked. And then I have cooked beans to make, to put into my soup. And basically for a pound, you would use four cups of water or cover with like this much water and I guess that would be a full teaspoon of salt. My brain's really not working, but anyway, it's very easy. Anyway, I'm going to have cooked beans for my soup and if this gets online, then I'm just no shame. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. I have a little shame. I did brush my hair. <laughs> so, the timer just went off a couple of minutes ago. Steve asked to that I wait until he went back outside before I continued filming. Camera shy. Steve's the husband. I'm checking to see how much water. Well, this still seems a fair amount of water. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I need a, I need another camera. But anyway, I think it's okay for now. Let me see. I don't know, 45 minutes. I'm going to add a little water. Whatever. Filtered. Yeah. Just enough so it's, yeah, maybe about that much water over. Not much. back in. Yes, I'm very lucky. I have a double oven. I don't get out much or spend a lot of money on my hair so I can afford it. Well, maybe not, but you know, that's my excuse. Anyway, we'll see what happens in another 45 minutes. I'm back to check my beans. I actually put them on for another 45 minutes, so I'm five minutes shy of that. Let me take a look. Hmm. Let's see. Something to put a few on to see if they're soft enough. Let's see. Like here. Oh my God, look at all that light. So here they are. They look looked uh look pretty done because you can see they're starting to 
split just a little bit, not too bad. Try a few. Pull them down. Oops, don't touch that without a pothole. Have fun getting burnt. Oh, these are done. That's it. So you have, um, yeah. So you can see them better. Better contrast in a dark color. There. Canelli beans. Ready to go in my soup that I'm going to make now. I might video that too. Why not? Okay. That's it. You can cook beans at home. So easy, so inexpensive, and if you live around here in the Boston area, get Bears beans. They're really great. They're grown locally, dried locally, and you never have to soak them. They're so fresh. And you really don't have to soak beans anyway. Just do what I did. Throw them in the oven, and there you go. You got them. Thanks. Bye.